Let us start off by us trying to show a recurrence relation that these Catalan numbers show and then define what are called uh, pseudo Catalan numbers that are related to the Catalan numbers and uh, that are more or less similar but they are defined slightly differently. So we know that Cn is equal to 1 over n plus 1 to n choose n. Right, which is equal to 1 over n plus 1 times 2n factorial over n factorial oh, n factorial times n factorial. Well, see n minus 1 therefore is 1 over n to n minus 2 choose n minus 1 which is equal to 1 over n to n minus 2 factorial over n minus 1 factorial times n minus 1 factorial. So, dividing, I get Cn over Cn minus 1 is equal to 4n minus 2 over n plus 1. Okay, you can divide things, you'll get 2n, 2n minus 1 left, you can cancel one of those, and you get exactly this left. Therefore, I get Cn is equal to 4n minus 2 over n plus 1 Cn minus 1 <coughs> with C0 is equal to 1. Okay, that allows me to define all this is of a uh, non this is a homogeneous recurrence relation for my Catalan numbers, except my free uh, my first question coefficient is not completely a constant right so i don't really like the fact that i have a denominator of 10 plus 1 and i would uh, rather not have that so define cn star is equal to n factorial c of n minus 1 okay then well, I can't have C of Z, uh, C star of C zero star. So I have to start with C one star is equal to one, uh, one factorial times C zero, which is equal to one times one, which is equal to one. Okay. Now let us try to figure out how these are related in terms of my Catalan numbers, right? Can I get some recurrence relation between C and stars? So C and star, uh, recurrence relation, recurrence, mm, oops, -E -E. recurrence relation. <coughs> well, my cn star is equal to n factorial times cn minus 1. And cn minus 1 is 4n minus 6 over n cn minus 2, right? Because for cn, it is 4n minus 2 over n plus 1. Substituting n minus 1 instead of that n, we get exactly this which is equal to, well, I can cancel out the n minus 1, uh, uh, cancel out the n factorial here, and I get 4n minus 6 times n factorial times cn minus 2. But hey, n factorial times, oops, n minus 1 factorial cn minus 2. But hey, n minus 1 factorial cn minus 2 is exactly c n minus one star so i get this is equal to 4n minus 6 times c n minus one star and so i now have a recurrence relation where it's not exactly uh it does not have a denominator right and so c uh, first few values of c uh, c star uh, c star uh, one star is equal to one c two star 
is equal to 2. C3 star is equal to 12. C4 star is equal to 120. C5 star is equal to 1680. C6 star is equal to 330,240. And I'm not going to write down more. Okay. Where do we use these? Why do we want to define these? Let's do an example where we actually use these numbers and where these are going to come up. Question. Okay. So let a1, a1 to an be different numbers. a1 to an be n numbers. Okay. By a multiplication scheme for the numbers, by a multiplication scheme, multiplication scheme, uh, we want, we mean uh, an order and uh, bracketing of multiplying these, right? Uh, by a multiplication scheme, we mean, we mean uh, n minus 1 multiplications between these numbers, between two numbers, which are, which are either of uh, either one of one of a one to a n or a partial product of these or a partial product of these partial product of these okay and these have to be in order so for example example n is equal to 1, there is exactly one scheme. Scheme, just a1. n is equal to 2, I have a1 times a2, or a2 times a1. n is equal to 3, I suddenly have a lot of these. a1 times a2 times a3, a2 times a1, uh, a3 times a1, a3 times a1, a3 times a1 times a2, and a whole lot of these, 12 of these. Oof. Okay, I want to find a number, what, uh, how many exactly are there, right? So, what I want is, if I look at it, I get one, oops, let me write this down in a different color. So, one, two, twelve, this is getting bigger very substantially fast. But it's also something I've seen just right now slightly before. 1, 2, 12. So there's a hope that this is exactly equal to C and star. And that's exactly what we are going to show. We are going to show that this is exactly equal to C and star. Okay. And we will show the number of schemes will show number of number of schemes of n numbers is equal to c n star okay proof we will consider, we will form a scheme for n plus 1 numbers recursively form a scheme for n 
numbers from a scheme for n minus one numbers. It can be done in exactly one of these ways. It can be done in exactly one of the following ways. Okay. First, take a scheme for a1 to an minus 1. Take a scheme of a1 dot 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 an minus 1. Right? I don't know how many uh, schemes there are i'm taking one of them right and it has n minus two multiplications multipli multiplications and n minus two parentheses sets of parentheses sets of parentheses uh parentheses, parentheses. My bad. Okay. I am going to insert a n on either side of the n minus two multiplications. Insert a n on either on either either side of either factor either factor in one of the n minus two multiplications multiplications okay so in every single stage i am doing it inside this is going to be n is multiplied first right in all of these things, n is going to be multiplied first, then everything else. So, how many ways do I have of doing this? Each, well, there are n minus 1 numbers. And you can multiply on either side of them, right? Because each scheme of n minus 1 numbers gives rise to 2 times 2 times n minus 1 uh, n minus 2 oops n minus 2 is equal to 4 times n minus 2 schemes right there are n minus two parentheses. You are throwing it in one of these n minus two sets of parentheses, right? Take any one of the two things inside the parentheses. You are either throwing it at um, uh, on the left or on the right uh, of either of the two things in the parentheses, the first one or the second one. So you get four times n minus two choices. Second. Multiply it on the outside, on the left or right. Take a multiplication scheme, multiplication scheme, and multiply it on either the left or the right at the, well, yeah, whatever, by a n. So basically, you're either doing, you're doing the entire scheme for these a n minus num uh, one numbers first, and then multiplying by, uh, what do you call it? Um, a n, 
right? So example, uh, this gives you exactly two schemes for, for the, each scheme, scheme, ch scheme of n minus one numbers gives rise, gives two schemes, two schemes for n numbers. Okay, so um, example, in the first case, suppose uh, my the scheme is a1 times a2 times a3. Okay, so what am I doing? In I am trying to put a4 in here. Okay, the first way I am doing is uh, I am throwing in a4 on either side of a1, a4 times a1 times a2 times a3 or a1 times a4 times a2 times a3 or a1 times a4 times a2 times a3 or a1 times a2 times a4 times a3 or a1 times a2 times a4 times a3 or a1 times a2 times a3 times a4. These are by 1, right? These are the ways you get from 1. And there are n minus 1 numbers. Did I miss some schemes? There should be 8 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which one did I forget? Ah, yes. This is the one I forgot. Um, or a4 times a4 times a1 times a2 times a3 or a1 times a2 times a4 times a3. These are the four things, I, these are the eight things I get by one. And by two, I should get a1 times a2 times a3, and then all of it by a4 on the left ones and on the right ones. a1 times a2 times a3 times a4, right? So that is the examples of how we are doing this. Therefore, well, the number of schemes for, uh, therefore, Hn is equal to 4n minus 6 times Hn minus 1, right? Each scheme gives rise to 4 times n minus 2 by part 1 plus 2. 4 times n minus 2 is 4n minus 8, plus 2 is 4n minus 6, h n minus 1. And I know that h of 1 is equal to 1. This is the exact recurrence relation satisfied by where n is n greater than or equal to 2. This is the recurrence relation is the recurrence relation of C n star, and therefore H n is equal to C n star. Okay, and that will be our 
end of section 8.1.